Hi guys, it's Vlad with The Verge here ready for Berlin 2012. I'm here at Lenovo's booth and taking a look at the still very new ThinkPad Tablet 2, which should be coming out just about the time when Windows 8 releases. Windows 8 is going to be released on October 26, but Lenovo itself won't tell us when this product is coming to market. All it will say is that it will be available with Windows 8. It's attached right now to this Bluetooth keyboard, it's just a plastic mock-up of the keyboard, but you can just pull it out like so. And you can see there's a stylus protruding out of its top. Uh, it is an active digitizer, so it isn't capacitive like uh, some other devices that you might have seen, but that also means that you get palm rejection. So this is a 10 inch display with 1366 by 768 resolution. You can have one or two gigabytes of RAM and 16 or 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. You have a whole bunch of connectivity, which you kind of expect with a ThinkPad or ThinkPad tablet device. You have an HDMI port down here at the bottom next to the dock connector. There will be a full uh, dock with extra ports as well. There's also a full-size USB port covered up with a flap over here. Uh, there's also a slot for a micro SD card slot and there's a slot for a SIM card to get 3G and 4G signal. Now, the way you can kind of think about this ThinkPad Tablet 2 is it's kind of a middle ground between the two Surface tablets that Microsoft has introduced. And the way that that works is it's running Windows 8, uh, the Intel, uh, or x86 version rather, um, and it is running Intel processor, but it's an Atom processor rather than the Core i5, Core i7 that you might find on Microsoft Surface, uh, or the um, ARM-powered version with the Windows RT version. So it's lower power, but that also means you get up to 10 hours of battery life. Uh, it also means you get a thinner device. This is less than 10 millimeters thick. It weighs less than 600 grams. And in terms of construction, it uses what Lenovo describes as typical magnesium construction, which is also typical Lenovo understatement because most companies go for plastic. Lenovo goes for magnesium. Around here in the back, you can see there's an eight megapixel camera with what looks like an LED flash. And there's also two megapixel camera around the front. Uh, the thing that we've been told by Lenovo is that the software is still kind of an early build, so it isn't that responsive, and indeed, the Metro UI is nowhere near as fluid as you might find usually. You can see there's a chance menu over here on the right, and you can switch applications by dragging in from the left. So that's it. This is our look at the ThinkPad Tablet 2 here at EFA 2012 in Berlin.